Hello and welcome. Silray is here with Mech Warrior Online. Let's talk about the new Viridian bug. Essentially, it received polys and some changes in the latest update, the latest patch. So I want to get some of my thoughts out there. This is the second game I have played on the map, which is you are watching on the background right now. Um, after the changes and actually before even going into the quick play, I just hopped on a fast mech and went and run, ran around on the new updated Viridian bike. Before I get to talking about the map though, uh, I want to talk about uh, the first big issue I had with it, that is frame drops. Uh, I am running with, with my rig, uh, even while recording I am getting around 100 uh, frames a second on basically majority of the maps. Some maps uh, I've run high 90s. Here however, uh, this is on high settings, not ultra but high settings. Here I am getting low to mid 45s at the lowest point and sometimes, sometimes manage to get uh, up towards the 60. So frankly, frame rate has dropped massively on this map and I can see people on the low end computers having a bit of an issue here. Quite a bit of an issue. I haven't yet done the research though, like what exactly causes the frame drops and is it certain areas and whatnot. I haven't um, at the time of making this video anyway. anyway I might, when it, when it comes to that, uh, I, I just might do it for my own amusement. Acquired. But for now, no, I haven't. I just noticed massive frame drops when I was, you know, recording and all that stuff. Compared to another map and like, okay. So my I still run same frame rates on other maps. Here, mm, lower, much, much lower, about half the frames. Anyway, anyway, let's talk about the map itself and the changes. Firstly, uh, the map is much easier to traverse now. I, I never really had an issue with it personally because I quite like Viridian Bog as a map and I ran around on it um, outside of just playing it. I went and loaded in on a essentially a custom map and ran around on it uh, to learn like where I could go, which places I could traverse on the map, right? So yeah, uh, there is that. So it's easier to traverse now by a whole lot because you can there is less routes in the way you can walk over most of them you can even knock down some of the small trees so yeah easier to traverse that's actually good for uh, the people who don't want to you know load it up in a testing grounds and run around and learn wherever <laughs> where the heck everything is and where all you can walk now um Overall though, overall though, what did I do I think about the changes? Uh, personally I am not so not so keen. Like um, I guess it might be a step in the right direction to make the map feel more balanced to people who just, you know, want an easy, you know, walk towards the enemy team, fight it out and die. But if you want, if you actually wanted to uh, plan a little bit of flanking maneuvers and whatnot, I am not so sure this is better, because one team now has easy access to one hill and one team has easy access to the other hill, essentially. And so what what happens is that well, one team gets on one hill and the other team gets on the other hill, and then you just you know shoot at from hill to hill, uh, a sort of a mid to longish engagement range and that's essentially all there is to it. Granted, I am not so sure they really want to remove brawling as a viable gameplay, uh, you know, tactic entirely, as a viable strategy entirely, but uh, on here they definitely made it a little bit harder. Because, well, having a high ground is an advantage. I won't say it's always an advantage, I will just say that it is pretty much every single case <laughs> it is an advantage. And so um, I am sitting on this high ground, I have been here for most of the match and uh, well you can see, I'll, I'll let this game run to its end even though I will probably stop talking before that, I'll probably run out of things to say about the map before it. So you get to see the numbers at the end, alright? So, 
the numbers speak for themselves when it comes to high ground versus people on the low ground. Just straight up. Right? So, anyways, anyways. Now you can get on one hill really easily and you can get on the other hill really easily. I don't think enough changed on the map. Like, if I had redesigned this map, I would have gotten rid of one of these hills entirely, given both teams about equal distance uh, and a nice little staircase to one hill. And then had people, you know, fight it out. Because that would have still given uh, long to medium range folks something to shoot at from, you know, lower ground and such. And the brawlers would have been on top of the hill and fighting it out uh, around the corners of the uh, particular hill. That's what I would have done. Um, uh, it would have been much, much Target bigger destroyed. change to this particular map, obviously. But um, I honestly think Target that this... Acquired. Something like that should shake up the game a little bit more than just, you know, trying to tune it in such a fashion that both teams have exactly the same kind of map to look at, which I, I am not so keen on myself. But, oh well, people have different ideas, different concepts of what they like. And granted, like I mentioned, this change made it so that it's easier to get on one hill at least for the other team, and obviously um, easier to get on both hills, essentially for both teams, because there is less clutter on the ground in the way. So, like I said, I am still on the fence whether I really, really like the changes. I must play more ma more games on this map to really, really feel like, it was this for the better overall? But uh, granted, it will probably be better for overall for people who really just wanna, you know, run in there and fight Max. Without mm, too much thought to, you know, how they get to the enemy team. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna let this, this, this background for this run to its end so you can get to see the numbers and whatnot. Thank you very much for watching and listening. Let me know what you think of the map. Let me know what you think of the changes. Are you on the camp that says that this is much better, or are you on the fence, or is this worse for you? I don't... For me, like I said, I am still on the fence. Was this better overall? Anyway, thank you very much for watching and listening.